going to talk about something a little different this morning. I'm going to talk about a new kid in town. Uh, for the last hundred years, ketchup has been king. Uh, ketchup has developed into a single flavor that the few makers of it all taste the same. And you buy ketchup, you know exactly what you're getting. Well, the new kid in town that is going to give it a run for its money is barbecue sauce. Now, barbecue sauce uh, has come from the hundreds and thousands of barbecue restaurants which have developed their own sauces and some of them have become more popular than others. Uh, just to show how popular they are, the other day I was in Walmart and there's three brands of ketchup there. One of them being uh, the uh, Great Value, Walmart's own brand, and the other is Heinz and uh, Hunt's. And, uh, but you get down there in the uh, uh, barbecue sauce, and I counted 16 different brands that was available. Uh, I've been using several different ones and I've pretty well picked out the one that I like best and it's called Sweet Baby Ray's Barbecue Sauce. I don't know who Sweet Baby Ray was but I like his sauce and uh, I've got a big bottle of it over there in the refrigerator and uh, it's not my first bottle, it's my second, third, or I don't know how many, but it's my favorite and it's what I use all the time. But uh, I'm going to use it a little bit, little bit differently today in a different breakfast dish. Uh, it's going to kind of be a takeoff on the old biscuits and gravy and the army shit on the shingle. But it's going to be uh, beans, barbecue beans on toast with an egg and a sausage. Okay, I've got the toast made and got in the plate here. Got the beans that are hot over there. I'll put an egg on the cook. one egg over easy over medium whatever barbecued beans over the over the toast. Now these are made just simply pork and beans drained and barbecue sauce on them. And you get virtually the same thing as baked beans only barbecue flavor. instead of hickory uh, or maple flavor and sugar and all of that. They're just like baked beans only barbecue beans. You can make your own, <clears throat> own or you can actually cook them that way. And I've got one smoked hillside farm pure beef sausage to go in there. Warmed it to microwave. That's done. Put the 
egg on top of the beans. Now that's ready to go to the table. Okay, there it is on the table. Sure looks good. I'm going to take a few bites of it and find out if it's as good as it looks. Okay, let's take a bite of this toast with the beans and egg on it. And You know, that reminds me of the breakfast that I had in Nova Scotia of uh, baked beans on toast. And it was delicious, but I think I like it here with these uh, barbecued beans even better. Altogether different flavor. Try a bite of this uh, beef sausage now. Good smoky flavor on that. Get a bite of egg here. Well, I'm going to finish my breakfast and be back to tell you a story. Okay. That was one of the greatest breakfasts this morning. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was just what I wanted. It's cheap, easy to fix, and you ought to try it sometime. And you can make your own uh, barbecued beans. Uh, just drain some uh, pork and beans, add your favorite barbecue sauce to them and make you, uh, your own barbecue bean breakfast. But I promised you a story and here it is. Uh, when we lived in Colorado, one of the things I liked to do was uh, fly up in the mountains to one of the uh, Forest Service strips up there and camp out overnight at that strip. They were usually a, a grass strip about oh, half miles, three quarters of a mile long and up in the mountains and uh, usually had a great view and occasionally one of them would have a artesian well there on it and some stock tanks for water for the uh, animals and also for uh, anybody wanting to camp there. And we'd been camped there overnight and we'd just packed up, get her ready to load the airplane and I I hear this sound coming and I look up and here comes a C-130. And I thought, well, there's no forest fires around or anything like that. Uh, I can't see any reason why he'd be coming here and he turned into downwind and put the gear down and I could tell that he was serious about that. And he came around and flew down the runway and at about a hundred feet and you could see the 
pilot and co-pilot looking out the window at me and I waved at them and uh, they pulled up, went around and came in and landed. And that that big thing on that strip, it, it all looked like it filled it up all the way. And uh, they taxied to the end of it and shut down and I walked up there and uh, what it was was they had brought out some new firemen for some training and they wanted to fly them into one of those strips and I told them, I said, well that's all right, we're getting ready to load up and leave and we loaded their airplane and left. Uh, but that that was uh, an interesting situation there for a minute and that's my story for the day. <clears throat> now, uh, back to the breakfast. Uh, it's so easy to make and you ought to try it sometime. It's, it's delicious. Uh, so, God bless America. God bless Texas. And where else would you find a picture like this? Bye.